Hi everyone, it's Dennis here and welcome to the Physics Math Wizard channel where I do interesting math and physics problems. So let's get started for today. I have a, a nice math problem which is a kind of a binomial theorem expansion that we'll be doing. So let's get started. Uh, so the problem goes, we have to write down the expansion of this function, uh, the square root of 1 minus x, in ascending powers of x. And we'll go as far as the term in x to the power 4. So I'll explain why it's actually okay to go up to some terms and leave out the others for this particular example. And then we'll use the expansion to find the square root of 80 to four significant figures. So let's get started with the first part of the question where we expand this in ascending powers of x now. The square root of 1 minus x, of course this is the same as 1 minus x to the power 1 half. The square root represents uh, to the power 1 half. Uh, then um, I'm going to use the binomial expansion for fractional powers. So I'll write this down here. If I have uh, something like 1 plus x to the power n, where n is a fraction, so I'll have a fraction which is of course less than 1. Uh, I'll have this expand as 1 plus nx plus n into n minus 1 uh, x squared divided by 2 factorial plus n into n minus 1 n minus 2 uh, x cubed divided by 3 factorial and this goes on um, as far as any number of terms you want but this expansion is valid valid if and only if the value of x is uh, the, the absolute of x is less than or equal to 1 so since the absolute of x is less than or equal to 1 that is to say x is between negative 1 and 1 then of course the uh, uh, as as I, I, I increase the power, then the value of x becomes even much smaller as long as it is in this range. So, in other words, the expansion converges. In fact, I'll, I'll just say, instead of saying valid, I should say converges if this is true. So, after using this expansion here, uh, before we can, uh, after uh, making this expansion, before we can use it for any other purpose we have to make sure the value of x we'll be using it with is always between negative 1 and 1 because we want this to converge otherwise if it doesn't converge then there is no reason we should stop on just a few terms all right let's get started so um, I'm just going to write down this again so I have 1 minus x to the power 1 half and uh, I just want you to compare this with uh, what I have here. So I have 1, uh, so the value of n is 1 half, and the value of x is kind of negative x. So you, you can interpret this as 1 plus negative x, okay, all this to the power n, something like that. So I have 1 uh, minus 1 half times x, okay, uh, plus... So I have n, which is 1 half, into n minus 1, that's going to be uh, 1 half minus 1, that's negative 1 half. All this times x squared, now that's not actually x squared, that's negative x, uh, okay, negative x squared, all this divided by 2 factorial, okay, plus, uh, so i just scroll this up. Okay, plus 1 half into, so according to the formula here, I have n minus, n minus 1 times n minus 2. So 1 half minus 1, that's negative a half. 1 half minus 2, that's negative 3 over 2. And then I have negative x cubed, that's this here. This divided by 3 factorial. And the question says we have to expand up to the term in x to power 4. So... Let me just add one more term here. Uh, that's going to be n into n minus 1, which is half minus 1, which is negative 1 half. Uh, n minus 2, negative 3 over 2. n minus 
3, that's negative 5 over 2. Then I have negative x to the power 4. All this divide by 4 factorial. Okay. So let's see what we have now. So I have 1 minus x over 2 plus, okay, this is going to be 1 half times negative 1 half. That's negative 1 quarter. 2 factorial is 2. So negative 1 quarter divided by 2. So this is a minus, and then this is going to be 1 over 8. Of course, negative x squared is positive x squared, so that doesn't affect this. Okay, let's see what the next is. Okay, I don't know whether plus or minus. Let's first evaluate this. So we have a half times negative 1 half, that's negative 1 quarter, times negative 3 over 2, which is going to be... Uh, positive what's that 3 over 8 and then 3 factorial is of course 6 so that's going to be multiplied by 1 over 6 and this reduces to 2 this 1 so that's going to be 8 times 16 which is um, sorry 8 times 2 which is 16 so that's uh, 16 down here and then negative x cubed is a negative so there we have it. That's why we actually have a minus here, even though this evaluates to a positive value. All right, we have one more here. So let me just take this off so that uh, you know exactly what we're working with. This is not part of what we have. Uh, yep. Okay, so let's proceed now. We have this. Uh, I'll just pick a color here. All right, so we have one half times negative one half times this. Uh, okay, that's going to be 8, so that's negative 3 over 8, uh, negative 3, oh, is that negative positive 3 over 8, and then this is multiplied by um, uh, negative 5 over 2, so have 5 over 2 here, that's going to be negative 15 over 8 times 2 is going to be 16, okay. Uh, it's a nice one there. So negative 15 over 16. And then we have to uh, just do that here. So we have uh, negative 15 over 16. Uh, negative x to the power 4 is going to be positive x to the power 4. But then down here we have 4 factorial, which is 24. Okay. So um, I guess we're almost there now. So let me just write this in a different color. 1 minus x over 2 minus x squared over 8 minus x cubed over 16 minus 15x to the power 4 divided by... I'll just do this on my calculators here. So we have 16 times 24, that's 384. There we go. I hope this doesn't reduce with 15. Okay. Seems it does, so I have 5 over 128, so uh, let me just do this here. Um, okay, so that's 5, 5x to the power 4 over, what's that, 128. So that's the expansion of um, uh, 1 minus x to the power 1 half, and this converges as long as the value of x is between negative 1 and 1. All right, so on to the second part of the problem. We have to use this result here to evaluate the square root of 80. So let me go ahead and do that here. We have to evaluate the square root of 80 using this result here. Uh, now, of course, if I just say 80 and I relate this with... Uh, uh, maybe 1 minus x, I'll have the value of x as negative 79, which, of course, does not uh, make this expression to converge. So I cannot just do it like this, uh, because the value of x in this case is going to be way too big to make this converge. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do this here. So the square root of 80, I'm going to write this as, um, I'm going to choose a number that is a perfect square that is close to 80, and that's 81. So I'm going to write this as the square root of 81. Let me just do it that way. 81 minus 1, which of course is 80. 
Okay, I'll just use equal signs, no problem. And then I'll just write this again as, so I'll pull out 81 and I'll have 1 minus 1 over 81. And of course, the square root of 81 is 9. So I have 9 times the square root of 1 minus 1 out of 81. And I hope you can see where this is heading already. So I have 9 times 1 minus 1 over 81 to the power 1 half. So uh, you can see now that what we have here is exactly in the form of what we've been working with. So our expansion here is uh, 1 minus x. And so we have 1 minus x to the power 1 half. And if you relate this with 1 minus 1 over 81, to the power 1 half, you can clearly see that x is going to be 1 out of 81. So that value of x is obviously uh, between negative 1 and 1, and it satisfies this expansion. It makes the expansion converge, uh, uh, speaking precisely. So let's now use this value of x and substitute it here in the expression. So I'm going to have 1 minus 1 out of 81 to the power 1 half. I'm not sure if this is so visible, so I'm going to take off some of these things here. I guess uh, we already see how this came about, so okay, so let's just take off this. I'm just going to write this on one line, so where we said this, oh, I have to choose a pen here. So we say this is going to be the square root of 81 into 1 minus 1 over 81, which is 9, times 1 minus 1 over 81 to the power 1 half. And we compared this with this, and we concluded that x is going to be 1 out of 81. So let's now uh, do this. So just take this off. So x is going to be 1 out of 81. So 1 minus 1 out of 81 to the power 1 half is 1 minus. So for x, I have 1 over 81 cos times 2 uh, minus. So I have 1 over 8. And then for x squared, that's going to be 1 over 81 squared minus 1 over 16 times uh, x cubed is going to be 1 out of 81 cubed minus 5 over 128 times 1 out of 81 to the power 4. So, yeah, these are pretty large numbers. So, I'll uh, now evaluate them and see what we have. So, I have 1 minus 1 out of 81 times 2. That's about 162 minus 1 out of. So, I'll just do the rest on my calculator here. So 81 squared is that very big number. Multiply that by 8. So I have 1 divided by 5, 2, 4, 8, 8. Okay, so this is approximately, let's see here, we have 0 0.9938081. I'll just neglect other numbers because we only want the answer in uh, correct for significant figures. But this is not the final solution. Remember the square root of 80? Let me just use that in yellow. The square root of 80 is, uh, if I show you this here, so this is what we had. It's 9 times 1 minus 1 over 81 to the power 1 half. So that's going to be 9 times this. So that's 9 times 0 0.99. 3801. Uh, I don't know if I got that right. There's 81 here. And finally, so just multiply this by 9. Our answer is approximately 8.9443. And that's in, uh, oh, okay, so I don't have a 3. I only want four significant figures. So that's my final solution. If I just plug in the square root of 80 on the calculator here, um, I get roughly the same answer in four, this, uh, four uh, significant figures. So, yep, the expansion works precisely well. And um, I guess this is the end of this problem. Thanks for watching till this far. If you like this, 
give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel for more content like this if you have problems you would want me to try out uh, check the google form in the description of this video where you can submit them i'll see you in my next video bye